Discover the Marine Drive project that will change the face of Ghana. The Marine Drive Tourism Investment Project, a 241-acre rebuilding initiative of Accra's coastline, has been initiated by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. The project is based on the development of a promenade in general, that is, an area where one can go for a leisurely stroll or get some exercise, such as a seashore terrace. The project's need, which dates back to the country's independence 60 years ago, called for a plan to turn Accra's city center into a world-class tourism destination and create an iconic skyline for the capital. The Marine Drive will also benefit the country's burgeoning cultural and creative industries. Three civic anchors, each highlighting Ghana's rich history, will be positioned along the new public promenade. At the heart of the promenade, a new public park honoring Ghana's forefathers will be built. The promenade will cover the length of the site, linking the most prominent buildings in the capital city and providing access to the city's beaches. This park will extend from Independence Square to the ocean, culminating in a coastal overlook with expansive, dramatic views across the Gulf of Guinea. Stay connected with Africa Reloaded as we carry you to discover the Marine Drive project that will change the face of Ghana. Despite Ghana's tremendous tourism growth potential, the country's tourism industry is badly underdeveloped. As a result, the completion of this project will provide a much-needed boost to the sector, propelling it to international standards. Once completed, the Marine Drive project will comprise hotels, stores, offices, casinos and parking spaces. Other attractions planned include conference and exposition halls, a beach soccer pitch, a mini golf course, and an office building for the Ministry of Tourism. This sum will be used to transform the chosen area into a business, commercial and tourism center, perhaps increasing the country's competitiveness in the West African subregion. A project of this scope has enormous potential, which should not be overlooked, since Ghana's coastline has been susceptible to storm surges, which have slowly destroyed considerable amounts of land. The project is required to mitigate the effects of sea action. The Accra Central, Independence Square, and Asu stretch of beachfront, all of which are part of the project's target region, are among Accra's most vulnerable areas to tidal erosion. The project will embank the shoreline to secure the land's long-term preservation, given the complexity of the project and the susceptibility of the chosen area. Concept of the project Since independence, the Marine Drive Tourism Project has been the government of Ghana's single largest tourism investment project. The 241-acre prime beachfront tourism enclave project aspires to position Ghana as the most sought-after tourist destination and destination of choice in the West African subregion, while also offering employment possibilities for many young Ghanaians in the hospitality industry. The project is essentially as follows. Rezone the entire tract of land as a tourism enclave, which encompasses 241 acres and stretches from the Asu Kladi Lagoon, behind the Christian Borg Castle, to the Accra Community Center. In the broad locations, the enclave will focus on four important aspects of tourism. Along Accra's High Street, there's a lot of business tourism. Along the seafront, there is a lot of leisure tourism. Cultural tourism is supported by the existing Asu Castle, Black Star Square, Asangui Park, Wame Kruma Mausoleum, Art Center, and new performing arts facilities. Ecotourism includes traditional fishing and related economic activities, such as cottage businesses and small-scale suburban agriculture. The beachside development is expected to include items like Christiansburg Castle Museum, casino with corporate facilities, seven hotels with an average of 400 rooms each, health clinic, food court, three sports clubs, amusement park, spa beauty clinic and massage parlor, shopping mall, jetty water sports, cultural village, memorial park, five corporate offices, banking offices, conference center, amphitheater music studio, management and maintenance facilities, transportation management. The Marine Drive project aims at achieving the following goals. Remove non-conforming uses from the city center and re-establish a new land use system suited for a capital city. 
intensify land usage to reflect the high value of land while simultaneously addressing the seeming lack of land in Accra. Create an environment in the city center that encourages high levels of tourism-related investment. Encourage people to invest in tourism and tourism-related businesses. Create jobs and income possibilities, especially in low-income areas. Create cash streams for the ASU and GA traditional councils, chiefs, and people. Take on the difficulties of garbage and sewerage along the coast. The project has been designated as a free zones enclave, which means it will be tax-free and benefit from tax breaks and exemptions. As a result, all construction materials, machinery, equipment, and services imported for the project's construction will be free of tax and duty. These duty-free and tax-free products and services will be converted to equity. The aims and concept paper are self-explanatory. In Ghana, this project is certainly necessary. Building on the Marine Drive project was expected to begin in June 2019, according to the Ghana Tourism Authority. The delay was attributed to the delayed evacuation of ministries, departments, and agencies from the proposed site. The authority's chief executive officer, Akwasi Ajiaming, told Joy Business that the evacuation process was 70% complete and that construction was scheduled to begin in June of the preceding two years. The $1.2 billion World Bank-funded project cannot be allowed to fail, especially because funds have been laid aside for it. All concerned Ganyan who wish to see this initiative succeed should support the Auditor General's request for a reimbursement of the funds spent on it. Beaches have proven to be economically beneficial to countries like the United Arab Emirates, the Caribbean Islands, Hawaii, and others that have invested heavily in similar projects. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council WTTC, tourism will contribute over $96 billion to the UAE economy by 2021, and this amount is likely to triple in the next 10 years. They were able to accomplish this by investing heavily in their tourism industry. If this initiative and others like it in Cape Coast and other cities along Ghana's beaches are evolved into a comparable project, they will be able to accomplish a lot. The plan would give Accra a distinctive skyline and turn the city center into a world-class tourism destination. The project has been recognized as a free zones enclave, which means it will be exempt from paying taxes and will get tax advantages and holidays. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification button to receive updates on new tourism wonders.